have an AC in here and I turn I set it to come on I think like at five hi everybody <laughs> um, so now it's nice and cool in here I think I'm gonna take my keys off because they're gonna be clanging on the desk so there set that in there put the remote on top of the AC so it's out of the way here we go I'm just trying to find the light on the computer yay I found it I found it okay Hello, it's Makeover Monday, <laughs> and I get to make over the planner box that I picked up at um, Family and Children's Services Thrift Store. I'm sorry, I'm starting to get a headache, <laughs> so bear with me. But anyway, so tonight, it's going to be this project, and I may have to do it in two steps. I'm... I'm forgot how big it is and so I didn't start in advance this is for projects that I want to work on Ooh, I'll deal with that later anyway so I've got to take the handles off this is what I found I found this at family and children's services I think it'd make a great little planner box for somebody I know I don't think she's watching but, um, yeah, I just want to totally give it a new look. I might leave the inside as is. I kind of like the inside. I mean, it's got that whole, you know, it's good. It's good. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I might even change my mind on the color that I'm going to paint this. Because the inside is that color. I think I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you heard bubbles. That's one dog's downstairs that goes crazy every time I do everything. Anything I do. <laughs> I'm just start barking. Okay. So instead of painting it white, I'm going to paint it ivory. And I think that'll work with the inside, so I don't have to do the inside. So what I'm going to do at this point, oh, and I'm sorry if you're new to, to all this. My name is Audra, and um, I'm a wannabe crafty person. I want to craft all the time. <laughs> and I didn't really start doing this until late 2019. Um, I never really had the time, the money, or the ability to do anything until I came across this this company that is just freaking awesome. And um, so now I craft a lot. And, and one of my fun, favorite things to do is to go to thrift stores and find things that people have discarded and remake them, make them over. Okay. And um, some things I've repurposed to something completely different than what they were, purpose, you know, originally made for. And some things I've just um, spruced up, you know, brought it up to date. And I do this, I go to thrift stores that um, do, that are there to raise funds for specific charities. Um, I know there's Salvation and Goodwill, and sometimes I get stuff from there. But for the most part, what I'm trying to do is increase awareness of these little places that are around Tulsa that um, raise funds to do things like um, feed the community with grocery, you know, provide groceries and meals, um, to help with animal aid as far as placement and medical care and food and that sort of thing, uh, family and children's services to provide clothing and household goods for people who need it. 
um, Middle Earth treasures. They are they exist for the purpose of raising funds for the little lighthouse here in Tulsa, because her granddaughter is a student there. So she she um, wants to give back for all because of all that they do for her granddaughter. And um, Community Thrift Store is a little place that um, honors veterans and, and donates funds to veterans and um, gives them extra discounts on top of what they normally give on, on the whenever a veteran comes to make a purchase. And um, let's see. So I did um, groceries for Turning Point, Little Lighthouse from Middle Earth. Um, oh, and then, of course, there's... Um, Habitat for Humanity, and they have a restore thrift, the re, re, I forget the name of it. I think I'm supposed to go there this coming Thursday. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, I guess I'll find out Thursday when I go. So, and the reason I do this, I, I shop live so that, um, hopefully people in Tulsa, my friends will catch it and they'll share it with people they know, um, just to kind of, let them know that these places are there. They will take donation of items. They will take donation of funds. They will take um, volunteer workers. They will take, um, and they'll definitely love it if you come shop at their places. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. And then I like to, you know, make things over. <laughs> and I thought it'd be fun to do that live with everybody. And so this is a project for tonight. I've done a few other things, but um, and I'll have to show you at some point, but I don't want to keep you on too long because it's Monday night, you know, so. All right, so at this point, I'm going to um, change the angle of the camera so you can see what I've got going on down here on the table, okay? So if you tend to get dizzy, close your eyes, and I'll let you know when you're there. Okay. So while I'm doing this, I do want to let you know, um, I am trying to get things going to where I can do giveaways as well as maybe like sales or auctions with these items and then donate extra funds to the places. So shop at the places and, and then turn around and donate extra funds as well. So um, yeah, I'm trying to get that worked out. So the first thing we need to do is remove all of this so that I can paint without painting over it. I purchased this little box uh, for $6 and it ended up being the only thing I got. I usually buy several items, but I'm, I'm needing to, <laughs> I'm needing to, you know, scale back a little bit on the money I'm spending every week. Um, as well as the things that I'm bringing into the house because my craft room is bulging at the seams. If it's even possible to do to a house, I guess it is possible to do to a house. So, there's one handle. And I'm going to leave them looking the way they look. Um, they're not in bad shape and they've kind of got, you know, an aged look to them. So I'm going to leave them as they are. And once this is done, I will put it back on. And I thought about, um, you know, putting some mason jars in here or something I'm done, but it's too big for mason jars. So um, the next step will be to buy some flower pots that will fit inside here, you know, maybe two or three, and then... Um, Give it to the person so they can put some plants or flowers in it or something. So this will not be a giveaway or an auctioned off item. And I'm seeing where stuff is starting to peel on this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little screws, four little brackets there, and two little holes. So we'll keep those aside. Now I'm looking right here. Check this out. <laughs> this is coming off. Let's see what's going to happen here if I pull on it a little bit. All right, 
There's a, that's it. I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper to it. This edge, nothing peeling there. Okay. And then so it looks like this is pretty big. Let me lift this up. I can probably do this standing up a lot better. So let me lift you up. I see somebody on here. Who's Sherry and Sandra. Hello, Sandra, my friend. It has been way, way, way too long. I just happened to be over here by the camera. Oops, what happened? I'm going to wave and wave. <laughs> I don't know what happens, what happens when I push that. So, um, yeah, whatever happens, I guess I waved at you. When you jump on, do me a favor, say hi. Let me know you're here with me. I'm just kind of smoothing down the edges, making sure there's no more of that stuff sticking out so it won't peel after I paint it. I didn't do any prep work. I got really crazy busy with organizing it stuff from my craft fair because I, I got sick right after and it took me a very long time to get cleaned up. Um, so I finally got that done this weekend and so I didn't do any prep work on this box. That's okay. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna paint. I'm just gonna paint and see how it goes. I um, ordered some shellac because I don't know if, if this is gonna end up outside or not. So I'm gonna put some shellac on it when it's done. Here we go. That's the before. And wait a second. <laughs> and then the after is going to be different. <laughs> I probably need to sand it some more, but I'm just going to do it this way. I think it'll be okay. You can get pretty good coverage with, um, with chalk paint. So it should be okay. So how's everybody doing? Tell me, did you have a good weekend and how did you spend it? And it's Monday. Did you have a good Monday as well? So I think I'm I'm thinking about the whole um Talking on this one done. I think it's going to be okay. Again, I'm not going to paint the inside. And am I going to paint the bottom? Should I paint the bottom? Let me see. I don't think the well. Yeah, I don't want to make it look nice, so I'll paint the bottom as well. So I'm going to dry this. of camera. I'm going to switch the angle just a little bit. 
dry already. Let's do another coat. I love how this truck paint covers. So I picked a few different designs. I want to do double sided and they're going to be two different um, two different designs rather than just the same thing on both sides. So I'm going to put one side, I want to put, I've got this little message that says um, home is where mom is because this will be a cute little Mother's Day gift. And on the other side, I'm thinking about putting um, bloom and then um, maybe some flowers. I've got butterflies, I've got flowers, I've got um, some little plants that I may just use those that are from the April Club Couture design. good and then go ahead and touch up the top edge as well oops I have to I have to learn to kind of slow down a little bit when I paint I just kind of throw the brush around <laughs> and I make a bit of bit a bunch of mistakes and I could probably avoid that if I would just slow down just a little bit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra. Just getting started. <laughs> So right now I'm just using ivory and then I'm going to distress it a little bit with um, some of this nutmeg, this apple barrel nutmeg. So I'm painting the side of it really quick like it's out of camera. Let me see if I can raise this up so you're not just looking at the bottom of the box. I need to get the paint out of the hole so that I can be sure to um, I have to get I'm gonna have to get a long skewer, a long skinny skewer. So what have you been up to, Sandra? It has been way, way too long. How's your craft life been going? Getting the paint out <laughs> before it has a chance to dry. Okay. There we 
go. So let's dry this now. So this is where it started to peel off. <laughs> I got a lot on this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just spread it around. <laughs> there we go. I get a little impatient. I'm just going to say it now. And I try to rush through this. And ultimately, I, I typically like how my stuff comes out, but I think I could save myself a lot of headache. I'm sure if I would just develop a little more patience when doing something. But where is the fun if you don't have some challenges? Is that right? What is on my... I might have to do a new sponge because it's leaving... A weird I take them apart when I'm done with them and I throw the tip away and I save this um, stick oh I should have dried it first before I tried to paint it again see what I mean <laughs> challenges challenges my friend hi Linda I'm, um, I'm sure you didn't almost miss me. It's going to be a minute. Woo! changing a little bit because of the height of the box. When I switch it over to the side, I'll be changing the angle again. I should have warned you, I apologize. So, I love that you can just take stuff and slap some paint on it. And just give it a whole facelift and make it so creative. I'll have to make sure I post a before picture for those who didn't see it before I got started. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to dry this for a little bit and then switch to the side. So it has a chance to dry before I do one more coat because I'm peeling up some of it while I'm trying to paint. the side on well, the top. Uh, I'll wait till it's laying on the back, on the bottom. <laughs> okay, now let's do this last side. I'm going to change the angle again. So if you can see, this is what it looked like on both sides of the box. A little outdated. So we are just gonna paint it up. Cover my holes again. Dry this after I dig the paint out of the hole here. When I first started crafting, I started crafting standing up. And when I moved here, I started doing it sitting down. I like standing up better. Standing up is so much more, it's just easier to do things for me. What about you? How do you like to do your crafting? Do you like to stand up or do you like to sit down? I'm getting paint all over my desk. Oh, I need to dry this. Norma, hi there. I'm glad you got on too. How are you? Yeah, both make sense. I guess when, when the feet get tired, I just, I don't know, I just seem to function better standing up. So if you join me late, just when, when I'm done, you can catch what this used to look like at the beginning of the um, live, you know, when it's a replay. You can check out the replay and see what it used to look like. And I'll see if I can't, I didn't think to take a picture before I started, so I will see if I can't um, grab a screenshot of it and post a before and after. I'm just trying to, there we go, clean out the, okay, I keep throwing this everywhere. I've <laughs> my sponge covered in paint all over the place. Okay, get that hole there. I get. To, I need to keep them paint clear. Paint free, not paint clear. Dry again.
down again to the table so you can see what's going on down there. Let's do it this way. There we go. Wait for the computer to catch up. And now I'm just going to touch up the top here so that it's same as the outside. The inside I'm not going to worry about too much because the color is not that different. And there will be, um, there will be, you know, pots in there. Of course, I just got paint on the inside because I'm rushing again. Slow down a little bit. <laughs> if I do it this way, it'll be the same direction. The strokes will be in the same direction. There we go. There we go. And a little bit over here. Okay, it's getting hot in here. I would turn the AC on, but it's loud. <laughs> Here we go. I think this will make a nice Mother's Day gift. Okay, so let's dry the edge before I play with it. <laughs> oh, you will, Sandra. I plan to, um, I plan to make it look dirty, you know, kind of aged. And so I'm going to use the um, nutmeg to do that. So I think I want to do one more coat. One more coat. Just to be sure I've got good coverage because I don't want that old design to start poking through. I'm almost done with this bottle. I bought, I've been, I picked up these bigger bottles of this chalk paint, but I don't think I like the bigger bottles because it takes so long to get through them and they just start they start seem to start getting thicker over time so I think I think I'm just gonna stick with the other size the medium size not the teeny tiny ones but the medium sized ones So I do plan to paint the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about that tonight. I can do that another night. So let's change the angle again. Uh, I want to show you. See, it's still, the old stuff is still kind of showing through. So I'm going to do another, another coat on the side. So this will be number three for this. I think if I had sanded it down more, it probably would have gone a little better. 
a little faster. But I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of, I go back and forth with that because, and maybe you can tell me, maybe you can help me settle this argument I have in my brain. Some of the projects I do completely live like this because they don't have to be sanded down or anything, but some of those projects have I've had to sand down. So I've been kind of doing it in advance and doing a little video clip of it being sanded down and prepped. And then coming on Monday with the project already started. And so part of me thinks that's good because it saves on time and it's done, you know, correct, in a correct manner. It's done better. You know, it's just, a, it's just better, I think. I don't know. But then I feel like if I come on to this pro, if I come on live on Monday and the project's already started, you don't get to see what it was beforehand unless you see the prepping video. So what do you think? Should I just do it like this and not do anything in advance? Do you feel like you miss out if I sand in advance and change it, start the process before I come on on Monday night? is I could just bring my sander in here <laughs> with the door closed I'd have to wear a couple of masks I think <laughs> This is the side that has the three coats, so let's throw another coat on this side, angle you down just a little bit. Sorry for the roller coaster ride. Let's do one more coat on this side. Full coverage. So what do you think? Do you, would you feel like you're missing out if I start the prep work in advance and then come on Monday with the project already started? Do you feel like you would miss out on the whole experience of the makeover? Not the whole experience, but an important part of it. Do you view it as important? I don't know how to word the question. I think you get what I'm asking. But I would love your input. Because I want people who hang out with me to enjoy what they're seeing. Okay, let's dry this. Okay. I get what you're saying, Linda.
Yeah, I see what you're saying. Two parts would be good too. Let's see. That's the side that has three coats. This side actually is not too bad, see? It's not too bad. All right, so now what I wanna do as I'm going to do the whole roughing it up and distressing it a little. So I'm done with the ivory. Now it's time for the, now it's time for the nutmeg. Excuse me for just one second, please. Allergies are crazy. Okay. So, yep, I love this stuff. <laughs> I've used that for so much. Uh, and not like whole paint jobs. I mean, for touching up and distressing and muddying up and giving it the whole old look. So, I'm going to put some in the tray because my friend Sandra wants to see it. So, let's see. All right, here we go. That's what it looks like. I probably got too much. So now, I'm going to take some on my brush and dab it. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna go heavy handed with it. And just kinda. Brush it on here. I kinda want it to look like it's been outside in, in the garden area in the flower bed. There we go. Just a little bit. I poured a lot out for just a little bit of these. Can you see it yet? Can you see it yet? Can you see it? Just a little bit. I don't want it to interfere with the design. I do want to get the edges a little muddled. Just like that. Almost kind of a rusted appearance, really. There we go. Okay, so that's one side. Make sure it's dry. And I don't do very much, so I mean, it takes no time at all to dry. Now let's do the other side. And I could probably even just dip it in this paint right here on this paper towel and have enough for this side. It's a little, a little rich. There we go. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Ooh, 
getting it everywhere. <laughs> Wasn't fun if you ain't wearing it, right? There we go. That's the second side. We have, well, let me do this before I change the angle. Let me do the top part of it. Because I'm going to have to bump the angle of the camera again to do the sides of it. So I'm just going to, oopsie, don't want it too much. There we go. Can you see it? I was just kind of add some to just random spots. There we go. And now Change the angle of the camera <laughs> one more time, and then we'll get down to actually decorating it. Excuse me. All right, so I'm doing a little bit more of the nutmeg. Can you see what I'm doing? It's hard with the, when it gets this tall to make sure I'm in the camera. So I'm just dipping it in the paint and then bang it on the, you know, dab it on the paper towel and then. I'm not, I'm not putting anything on the sides here. So I'm going to be a little bit more generous with it. I may even go ahead and put the handles back on because once I'm done here, the sides will be finished. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait until I'm actually finished. Now, Dab a little bit. Put it on the paper towel. And then, whoop, and then knock it over. There we go. Ah, now I'm getting it on there. There, that's better. Okay, now, so these over here. I'll deal with those later. Let's see. I'm going to change the angle of the camera again so we can work on the two sides, the two long sides. I know you can still see it, but I'm going to lower you down just a little bit. Okay. All right. So, the first side, I need to wax it. So I have my surface wax. I'm just going to do a good coat on it. I 
love that we can paint stuff and we don't have to wait, you know, 24, 48 hours for it to dry. <laughs> we can just keep going. Just dry it and, with the blow dryer and keep going. Feeds into my whole lack of patience thing. <laughs> okay. So, the first thing I want to do on this side is, um, I think I want to put my bloom. The whole thing's not going to fit, but I'll at least get the word on there. And then, um, can you see the sparkle? That's from the Shimmer, um, Shimmer Rose Gold, which I'm going to use tonight. And I'm probably going to do this word in the bloom in the shimmer rose gold um, or black should I do it in shimmer rose gold or black on the other side I want to do I'm gonna, I want to put home you know what <sighs> I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone are we ready? <laughs> I'm going to cut this. Okay. Ouch. 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 <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. I know, I know, it hurts. Home is where, I gotta figure out. See, I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay this out. Home is where your mom is maybe something like that and then uh, I don't know should I put a heart right there or a butterfly a couple of butterflies on it what do you think <laughs> I didn't think this through very well <laughs> Home is where your mom is. I think maybe some butterflies on this side. So what do you think? Center or spread out? If I center it, I could take the word is and move it up here. Home is where your mom, I think center would be better. Put this on the bottom, put this up here. Here you go. Ow. Ow. I like this is better. Okay. I'm going to write on the back of these since I cut them up. Mom is. All right. So I need to fuzz. You want to fuzz fuzz when you when it's newer. The older it gets, the less you need to worry about fuzzing it. But I'm fuzzing it for two reasons. Number one, I want to make sure it's not too sticky. Um, and number two, it'll help to ensure even a little more that I won't pull up this paint that I just put on here. 
So, I'm going to put the word mom all the way to the bottom. And then I want to make sure it's centered. So, from here to here is just about six inches. From here to here is six and three quarter. So, I need to move it over a little bit. Here to here, six and a half. Here to here, what the heck? What the heck, what the heck? <laughs> Try again. It's like I never even moved it to the side. Okay, let's try this again. Here to here, six and a quarter. Here to here, six and just above a quarter. All right, so. It's all the way down, as far down as I'm going to put it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do black for this. So here's our black velvet. Our nice paste. I'm going to have to stir that up. Get it ready for use. Okay. And then I'm just taking my little squeegee and I'm just smearing it on there. Oh, careful. I kind of cut it close to the top of the M. I don't know if you can hear Chloe going crazy down there. Somebody must be walking by. <laughs> I have a little, ooh, I did not get it. I have to make sure I wash that off as quick as I can. So, now I'm going to squeegee off the excess, just like this, and then peel this off. Ooh. See that little tiny spot right there? I need to wash that off. So, not only did I not wash it off, <laughs> I smudged it even more. So I'm going to get the worst of it off, and then I'm just going to touch it up with some paint. If I'm not making it worse. I just kind of went over the top of the um, transfer and went off the edge. So I'm just going to touch that up a little bit. All right, so this I'm just going to spray with a little bit of water and set it back on the backing until I can wash it again. So I'm done here so I can wash it. And then I'm going to get a little bit of ivory paint, a tiny little paintbrush. Easily fixed. I scared myself. I thought I was using white. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So there's a little bit of that. And then I'm going to take this tiny brush, dry it. Dirty it up a little bit because it looks too clean. Mm. 
There we go. Yeah. All right. Now, there are no chalk emergencies, see? Everything is fixable. I missed a little bit of the M right there. So I'm going to take this little pointed squeegee that we have. I'm just going to fill it in. Because that if I don't, that will bother me. Sometimes I miss the very tips and the very edges. There we go. All fixed. Dry that. And then I'm going to take where your where your It's going to be a little bit squished. There we go. I'm not pressing too much down on the green because I don't want to stick it to the chalk paste that I just put on there. So I'm just focusing on the lettering. So there aren't any air bubbles on the lettering. And I'm going to get a smaller... My multi-tool here has a smaller squeegee. I want to go sideways like this so that I don't go off the edge. Pushing my luck. <laughs> Here we go. I'm getting messages. There we go. Taking off the excess. Right back in the jar. And let's peel this off. Doop -doop -doop. All right, so that's the next one. Put a little bit of water on here, stick it over here to be washed. And I might be able to. miss a little bit of the E right there, so I'm going to take my pointy squeegee and dab it in there. Just fill in that little tiny hole. Careful. You gotta be careful when you have wax on here. You don't want to put hot air on it too long because the wax will start to melt and bubble up. All right. So if I put home all the way up to the top, like all the way up here. I can put is right there in that little gap. I guess I didn't have to cut it off, huh? Gotta be careful. You know what?
put it right there. So I'm going to peel this off for a second and put it right there. There we go. Ta-da! All right. There's that. Spray it a little and set it aside. That pieces, those pieces were so small, I didn't worry too much about it. What time is it? Oh, 7.30, okay. So I want to center this on that. And then put it right there. Back to the bigger one. <clears throat> I'm being extra careful along the edges. Nice thing if you're watching, hey, if you come on and watch the replay, do me a favor and type hashtag replay. Let me know where you're watching from. I love to see where all these videos go. Okay, get this excess off. I'm going to have to touch up the very bottom corner because I don't want to go over the edge of the transfer. Voila! Home is where your mom is. All right, set these aside. Dry that. After I do a little bit of a pokey pokey right there on the corner. That's where I missed it because it was too close to the edge. Oh, and I missed a spot here on the M. There we go. Fix that a little bit. There. All right. So, let's take, these big ones might be a little too big, we're going to see. If they are, I can always use the smaller ones. So, I'm going to number this one, number one. It's going to be butterfly one. Now, let's see. I have a feeling it's going to be too big. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's okay. I can use the smaller ones. Okay, put that 
right there and grab the smaller ones. Okay, so I'm writing on the back. The reason I'm writing on the back is for two thing, reasons. One is to put, um, to make sure that when I'm done, I, this will go on to the correct backing so that all the stickiness of this will be covered up when I put it away. And the other is to uh, make sure I don't put this transfer back on the incorrect side. You put it on the incorrect side, it gets really, really, really stuck. And I've done that before and I've almost ruined my transfer trying to get it off. So we have to be careful. So now I'm going to fuzz this a little bit. And let's have the butterfly. I'm questioning myself, do I want butterflies? <laughs> I do I want flowers. What do you think? Okay. What do you think? Butterflies or flowers? Hey, Tanya. I'm trying to decide if I want to put butterflies on this or flowers on this. So, while we're thinking about that, Tell me what you think. I'm thinking butterflies or this on each side. And while we're deciding that, I'm going to turn this over. And on this side, I'm going to put the word bloom. Wherever I put the word bloom, there it is. Oh, okay, gotcha. That sounds like a good idea. So here, four inches, four inches, oh my goodness, I love when it goes perfectly right the first time. So it's going to be missing some of the word, but that's okay. And I want to, maybe I should slant it a little bit, no. Oh, there we go. Let's do that. Yeah. If I do it that way, it looks a little straighter. There we go. Okay, so I need to move it over a little bit. There we go. So we'll get most of the word in there. I don't know what I'm getting over here. So we're going to start with bloom. I'm doing this cut one black again as well and then I'm going to do um, some plants with a little bit of color some uh, shimmer rose gold and some 
probably green. I've got pesto. I thought I had meadow, but I wasn't finding meadow on my shelf, so it's probably going to have to be pesto. There we go. Getting it all over my hands, I can feel it. Okay. I have to be careful. Blue! I love it. I'm going to touch that up right there a little bit. So let me spray this with a little water real quick. And then I want to touch that spot. So I'm going to take my little pointed squeegee like I was using before. First I'm going to dry it. Yes, Tonya. I agree. Love the sparkle. So I missed just a little tiny bit down here, and I want to go ahead and carry it down since the rest of it was down there. So I'm just adding a little bit more using my pointed squeegee. So I have control over where the chalk is ending up. Okay. We have a tiny spot that bled. Oh, there it is. Right there. So I'm just going to scrape it off. There we go. I'm going to take my tiny brush. our um, April Chalk Couture Transfer. This will be my first time using it this month. And I want to put a couple of these right here and a couple of these right here. So I have to be careful how I do this. Where's my I didn't write on here. Keep growing. Now, if you don't write on here, it's okay because this is the side that you want to put it back on. But if you're like me and you get into a rush and you don't pay attention to what you're doing, <laughs> it could end up stuck to the wrong side. middle one on both sides. I was thinking about doing the two little ones on this side and it you know I could put the middle one on the other side. Oh okay. Okay. That's settled. I'm gonna put this right there so that I don't pull up that design. And then I'm gonna put this right here okay and so go 
goodness gracious. There. Nope. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> let's do it in an angle. There we go. <laughs> it kept ending up under this leaf. All right. I want to check one more time, see if I have pesto or meadow. I think I would rather have meadow than pesto. But I don't think I have. I have meadow. Hold on. Shimmer eucalyptus. What do you think? I think shimmer eucalyptus. <laughs> no, it's not green. Well, it's not green enough. Okay, it's going to be pesto. So, this is an old paste, and it's a little thick. Move the blue thing over. Move the blue thing over. This? I mean, it's on the edge. It's, 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 um, between the edge and the word. I'm spraying distilled water into here just to thin it out a little bit. This is the older paste that I have. I've had it for a long time. And that's gonna be on my um, leaves. And then my pots are gonna be this gorgeous shimmer rose gold. I'm gonna use this teeny tiny squeegee tip right here to do the pots. Just like this. And then, I'm going to do the leaves and stuff with the pesto. I'm concentrating because it's a little bit of a tight squeeze over here. There we go. Make sure we get the pot all the way. It's actually a coffee cup or a cup, teacup. And then I've got another one of these that I'm gonna use right here. Let's do it this way. If I do it this way, it goes along with the strokes of the paint. Just does a better job of coming out nice. Okay. Now to do the pesto right here. Did I use all my miscellaneous? Oh, I got one more. <laughs> I think I have too many of these. You can never have too many of these. Okay. Really thought I had some meadow. I'm fussing about the meadow. Mm 
All right. Scrape it all off. Put it back in the jar. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. So now I'm going to dry that part. Hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to use these two for this side. There we go. Okay. Rose goat on the pot. I am heavily concentrating. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Because <laughs> I am heavily concentrating here. Alright. Then we have this little surface area here to catch. I'm just trying to catch the top rim here. Just like that. There we go. Oh, I can't miss that little corner right there. Okay. Right. Nope, nope, nope. And then take the pesto. This one's taking a little while. Sorry. I didn't realize it would take this long. Luckily, if you're watching replay, you can just fast forward. If you're watching me live, I'm glad you're hanging out with me. Either way, I appreciate all of you for watching. For just watching. And um, you can always follow me on my business page at Wannabe Crafty on Facebook. You can uh, share this with people that you know are interested in crafting. Or if you're on YouTube, you can hit that subscribe button for me. I just went over 200. I'm just getting started. <laughs> I just got over 200 followers. I'm so excited. And hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. Let's take this off. Oh my goodness. And there's that side. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. What do you think? No green tulips. No green tulips. Um, oh, you're right. I did them green. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize they were tulips. You know, I've looked at that thing for so long, and I thought I was looking at succulents and tree. I guess I was wrong. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's still pretty. <laughs> that side.
Okay. I'm making sure it's dry because I got to turn it over. We still have this to do. And I like the idea of the tree. Oh. And I like this. So I need to dry it. How do I do this? So I'm over here. Um. I need to dry the tree on this because I'm going to use the tree on that side. So I'm going to use my fuzzing cloth and wipe the water off. I need this to be dry so that the chalk doesn't run doesn't bleed, you know, so the design doesn't just bleed. Okay? It's dry. Alright. So. <laughs> Here's my glasses. I'm going to put the tree on each side. The tree with the, um, with the heart. Right, because home is where your mom is. So I'm probably going to get a little paste on there. Oh, what the heck? My red, my finger. It's wet. <laughs> okay. I need four arms right now. <laughs> So I'm working out all the air bubbles, trying not to get paste on here. If I do, I'll just touch it up with, with paint. And I'm going to do the same color scheme for two reasons. Number one, I think it'll be nice to have it consistent on both sides. And number two, to get this done. <laughs> Because I don't want to keep people too long. And I think my mom... Oh, did I just say who was going to give it to Shh, don't tell. <laughs> I think she'll enjoy it. Even though it's the same color scheme on both sides. Don't tell her. So, rose gold on the pot. And pesto on the tree. And yes, I'm doing everything green, including the bar, the brand, the, uh, what's that called? <laughs> what's that called? <laughs> that big thing, it's like in the ground and it's holding the leaves on it. Because <laughs> I don't remember. There we go. That's one tree down. Woohoo! Yep, I'm liking it. Now I'm going to do the other side. But before we do the other side, Just to be safe. Now, we need to put this tree 
over here. Right about there. Oops, right about there. Okay. And I'm going to lightly press it down with the squeegee so I don't get any black chalk paste on it. And I take out the air bubbles. And I'm going to do the same with the pot. Okay. There's all kinds of craziness going on down there. I don't know if you can hear the banging. No idea what they're doing. Get the brain, the, the trunk, the tree trunk. I figured it out. Yay. Get the leaves. Now these squeegees are great to get, you know, small spaces, but they're not as flexible as the mini squeegee and the small squeegee. So I, I like, I kind of like them, but I kind of don't. <laughs> I love that they help me get the smaller spaces. But I don't love that they're not very flexible. There we go. But I use them a lot, so I must I mean I must like them more than I know than I dislike them. Okay, let's peel this up. Voila. There she is. I got a little bit of bleeding right there, but that's okay. Alright. I'm gonna spray this. Set it over here so I can wash it when I'm done. Dry this. Now I definitely want to the tree trunk there we go there perfection as a matter of fact I want to do a little bit right there too there we go where your mom is on one side and blue on the other. I think this will be a cute little Mother's Day gift, don't you think? Thank you, Tanya. So, let's raise this up a little bit. I'm almost done. And I, gosh, I love, if you're still here, thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you, thank you. I love it. I love all of you and I appreciate all of you. So, I'm going to put this back on. These are the little handles that came with it. And when my shellac gets here, I just ordered some from Amazon. I will take the handles off. And I will give it a good coating. So that. She can use it inside or out, I would think. Let's see. 
put this back together. <laughs> oh my gosh, where'd the hole go? There it is. Okay. <laughs> so different than what it was when I first found it. I think it was well worth the six dollars for two reasons. To help out family and children's services and because this ended up being such a cute, such a cute box. I'm going to put this here just like that. I may have put it too tight on the other side. Whoopsie. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Brown tree. I know, Tanya. Brown tree trunk would have been better. I agree. But it's been an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> And I didn't want to keep everybody too much longer. And I think, um, I think my mom will be happy with it anyway. I think she'll like it anyway. So, um, it'll be okay with the green, with the green truck. And besides, I'm sitting here about to melt. Because even though I ran the AC for a while, I had to turn it off to do this and um, yeah it's hot <laughs> it's hot in this room there we go put this back on and now it's done can you see it? Turn it around. And it goes this way. This could sit on a coffee table with some pretty flowers in it. And it can, you know, it'll have something from both sides. Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a mess. Don't mind me, I'm a mess. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me for this long and thank you for watching and for hitting subscribe and like if you did and following on my business page at Wanna Be Crafty and Facebook and and um, yeah, if you want to um, see some more of these shopping trips and makeovers and they don't normally last this long, I promise. Um, catch me every Thursday at about 1230 Central Time. Friday is Fab Fine Friday, about 6.30 Central Time at night, because I work all day. And then um, Makeover Monday at 6.30 on Monday nights at Central Time. All right, thanks, everybody. Bye.